Across the southern Windward Islands, the rains continue with extensive flooding across Trinidad and Tobago, as well as heavy showers across the rest of the Windward Islands. The red alert remains across Trinidad as they go through this week. Meanwhile, for the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, they're watching this tropical wave passing through, bringing a few showers, but it is set to clear. Now, the main difference is that towards the north, they're on the sinking side of an upper level trough. Meanwhile, towards the south, we're on the rising limb across the southern Windward Islands, and that's the reason why they've been seeing quite a bit of moisture. That moisture will likely linger as they go through Monday and a Tuesday. So for the Lesser Antilles then, we will continue to see those spells of showers towards the south, more so for Grenada, down towards Trinidad and Tobago, and then down towards Guyana with some rainy spells there. But there will be some brightening of the skies as you get past the Barbados into Antigua, as well as for St. Kitts, with a lot more sunshine to come here. Out towards the Greater Antilles as well, there's an area of a high pressure at the mid to upper levels, which is basically putting a cap on the rain clouds. So a lot more bright skies are expected, a lot more sunshine as well for Jamaica through Santo Domingo and uh, Havana, although there will be a frontal system that's pushing a bit of clouds towards that uh, northwestern section of Cuba by the time they get to Monday. So that's your Caribbean travel forecast, and that's it for me.